Hello, my Mystic Tribe. Welcome to your daily read. This is a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. So I ask that you just take what pieces resonate, leave the rest behind for somebody else. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, that, uh, that allows you to know whenever I upload new videos, when I launch giveaways and announce the winners. Okay? And um, please give me that thumbs up. Share my videos because the more people that see them, the larger my channel grows, the more giveaways and bigger giveaways I will be able to offer. And <clears throat> feel free to leave a comment below if this resonates somehow. Okay, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into the reading. And also, energies can be vice versa. This could be your energy or someone that you are dealing with. Okay, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance and Messages for the energy surrounding the collective. Guidance, Messages, Clarity. What is the messages and the energy surrounding the collective, please? We have abundance. Nice. Ace of Discs. This is planting the seed. This is a new start. Aces are a new beginning. Going on a new path. And we have the Queen of Swords. Imagination. The Queen of Swords is somebody who sees things with clarity. She has a clear sight clear mind she is determined and there's nothing that's going to sway her you are not changing her mind so she is very focused so i feel as though there we have an energy here somebody being very focused on a new star planting new seeds going on a new path okay we're going to go ahead and get into each of the 12 signs if you're one of these signs or if you are dealing with one of these signs, okay? And ignore my son upstairs. He's playing um, some sort of video game. War Thunder. Okay, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please, for the collective. Concerning the 12 signs. Energy surrounding the 12 signs please energy surrounding 12 signs well we got two out already for aries so if you are dealing with an aries or if you are an aries four of cups energy with the six of cups somebody is holding on to the past or romanticizing the past if you are dealing with or if you're a Taurus, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Somebody is definitely working on their happiness. If you're dealing with a Gemini or if you're, you are a Gemini, we have the Ten of Rods, and we have the Six of Swords. Somebody's dropping a burden, a burden and moving on. Cancer, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the King of Cups. Somebody is speaking from the heart. Leo. Three of Cups. The Empress. I, the Empress is celebrating. There could be a birth. Somebody could be pregnant. That's not for everybody. Virgo. Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. Somebody seeing clarity in a situation and and somebody somebody's very caught up in their head. Libra, five of pentacles and seven of swords. Somebody was left out in the cold because of some lying or cheating here. Scorpio got the high priest. And you got the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you're looking to 
you are looking at some firm foundations and can higher level of commitment Sagittarius you got the star and the Queen of Wands somebody is being divinely guided to follow their passions Capricorn you got the lovers And the two of rods, you have a decision and love to make. Or there somebody has a decision and love to make. Aquarius. You got the high priestess. And the six of rods. Somebody's trusting their intuition to move towards victory. And Pisces. Knight of Cups. Page of Rods. Somebody could be proposed to. Somebody could be popping the question. Okay. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages and guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. We have death rights. Saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. So, there could be a goodbye somewhere. Saying goodbye, or it's just a total change. Love conquers all. Um, embarking, enduring loyalty, eternal love, lasting commitment. So what I feel as though is that there is, the death is meaning a death of a cycle and a beginning of a new. I'm feeling like there is this opportunity that there's this transformation or this change that is going on around you that is opening up to a forever after type relationship, a, a very firm commitment, a lifelong commitment here. So I think somebody is looking at a lifelong commitment. portal of light she guides on wings through time and space wings of Isis uniting with the angelic self so I feel as though that this is definitely a, some sort of spiritual connection here I think that um, what I am feeling is that this connection involves a deep soul tie. Okay. Regina, she who instigates. Leadership, procreation, and power. Yeah, so somebody is instigating a new start. It's what I'm getting. Zena, she who prepares. So this is somebody who's very strong, very powerful, has a desire to move forward. And they're formulating a plan and preparing for, I think somebody's preparing for a lifelong commitment. That's exactly what I get. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the read. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Clarity, messages of good guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance. Guidance for the collective. Clarity, 
messages, guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. So this Queen of Swords energy here is telling me that somebody may have made the decision to cut something off, to end a chapter of their life in order for them to cultivate something new, cultivate abundance. That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like somebody's entering into a relationship that is going to withstand the test of time. And this comes after they have exited another one. So I'm sure that maybe the history will show up here. Well, we will see. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. Wow, she's really coming out today. You know, that's Gemini, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So we have, what we have here is that somebody is being courted. Somebody is courting this Queen of Swords. Okay. They've, they're trying to offer them her, offer her their cup. Male or female roles, Tara knows no gender. Just remember that as well. But this is definitely somebody taking action to offer their cup to this Queen of Swords who is very much analytical and it feels like that she is definitely in the process of thinking about thinking about and considering um the offer that this other person has however you know at her cautiousness she's being very cautious and that cautious could be causing a block here okay um even though she has the attitude that she needs to work on things she needs to investigate pay attention to details uh she's very experienced in this um she's been burned and she is not taking any chances. Um, but it's like it's it, it can be an obstacle, though. Her lack of trust can be an obstacle in this. Um, we have the Magician card here. Uh, that is Virgo and Virgo energy, Virgo Gemini energy here. Uh, we have the Page of Rods, Taurus, Virgo, Capri or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So take a note here. We have the Ace of Pentacles here twice. And we have the Queen of Swords. So this is definitely speaking a message to somebody who is definitely, you know, I think she cut somebody off. She got burned, right? And so somebody new is coming out on the scene. Somebody new is offering her a bona fide offer. They're very suave. They're very romantic. Trying to offer her some sense, offer her their loyalty. And trying to offer some stability. But as I said, she is very cautious and that's serving as a block here. I feel like that she, there's a need for her to be in control just going to flat out say it. She is in control. She, and the, the emperor is often known as the builder of the major arcana. Okay. The emperor is a, like, it's a, um, he reminds me of authority. He's like an authority. So I feel like that, you know, somebody has all the tools and the resources. Somebody is taking action and, making things happen in their life and they're receiving these positive communications communications that are leading to a passionate new beginning that is deeply rooted that is solid and secure so i do feel like somebody's definitely leading in that direction here but i think that they're, they're and i think it's this queen male or female needs to release some control issues and go with a flow. That is what uh, a download from Spirit. Just looking at these cards and the energy that I'm feeling. It's like somebody truly, truly wants this queen. And truly wants to be loyal to this queen. But because of her past experiences. You know, she's very guarded per se. 
We have the High Priestess here. That is um, Cancer Pisces Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. Um, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, somebody's in a period of recovery here. Ten of Rods. So what I feel is that there is some sort of block here because somebody's trying to go within, trying to trust their intuition because they're not sure where the path leads. And some the Queen of Swords is somebody who wants everything to be crystal clear. She wants to know exactly, step by step, what's coming next. She doesn't like surprises, and she definitely does not like anything hidden or obscured from her. This is like an unknown path. And she knows that she's going down an unknown path with this person that she just met. And, you know, she's kind of juggling back and forth, trying to make a decision or a choice here with the Two of Pentacles. And I think she's trying to put practicality in it. I feel like it's heart over head over heart type energy here because she's still in a space of recovery. She is, she is stuck on the burdens from the past and afraid to move forward. I wonder if she'll get out of this energy. Let's take a look. Let's get the clarifiers here. Ooh, okay. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords here with the Queen of Swords. Wow, she's really sharp with her tongue. She's really on it, sharp-witted, sharp-minded. And, you know, she she holds nothing back, and she speaks her truth. And we have the Seven of Pentacles here. This is planting the seeds in this deck, you know. And it's like waiting, and, and somebody's like watching and waiting. And it's like I feel the energy of her. Seeing things with clarity and just playing the waiting game, okay? Watching the actions of this other person, of this suitor here. Eight of Cups here with the Knight of Pentacles. It's, this is, you know, she's teetering back and forth. She left another connection and now we have this other offer coming up. She's, it's like she's make she's exiting the scene. She exited a scene. This is kind of like a timeline sort of here. She ex exited the scene. She's proceeding with caution. Somebody's given her a solid offer. But, you know, she's still stuck on, uh, you know, I'm not going to get myself down again. But I think if you are the person that's going after this Queen of Swords, you just have to understand that she is in a space of recovery now. And she is going to require patience here. We have the Ten of Pentacles here with the Nine of Cups. Absolutely. Somebody wants a family. Somebody wants long-term commitment. Okay. They are looking in the long term, not the short term. So this is not a fly-by-night person here. We have the King of Rods here with the Magician. This is somebody who's really going after his queen. Okay. This is somebody who is very passionate. And this very passionate, very confident, and very ambitious. You know... This king is a king of action, takes action here, wheel of fortune here, and feels like this person is his destiny. This queen is his destiny, and he is ready to shout it from the mountaintop, okay? He's ready to shout it from the mountaintop. Page of Cups here with the emperor. He is ready to shout it from the mountaintop that he is in love. Six of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles. He is offering this queen everything. Okay. I'm going to, I hope I don't get striked for this, but I'm going to say it anyhow, because this is how my guides are telling it to me. He's, my guide is saying, my grandmother, she's the, my primary guide, and there's a male around her, probably my cousin Daryl. It's like they're both saying, this queen is, needs to get her head out of her ass. Okay, uh, you know, that's that's the way they are. They're very sarcastic. Um, Ace of Cups here with a Four of Swords. Somebody is definitely recovering. And they have a new offer of love. And we have all these aces. One, 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 one. This is the universe answering your prayers. This is the universe divinely guiding you. The universe is bringing you your abundance. 
Okay. And we have the strength card. Leo energy with the ten of rods. You know, this is about having that courage. Having that strength. To overcome the obstacles of the past. And move forward and embrace this beautiful energy. This beautiful opportunity. You know. Page of Pentacles. You know, this is positive, solid communication here. Five of Swords. You know, it's like somebody needs to stop playing mind games and make their mind up here. Because, you know, the, that other person is seeing that queen is playing mind games. Because they're doing everything, bending over backwards to show his or her love for that queen. Ten of Cups, because he wants his Ten of Cups with her. But she needs to get out of the past. She needs to face those demons. And do a lot of self-reflection here with the Queen of Cups. And that would bring about victory. Okay? So, uh... You know, whoever this reading is for, you know, this is it. You've wanted it. You've wanted true love. It is here. Stop holding back. That's it for now. Love you all. Blessed be.